my name is Matthew Chung. I'm a chief of the surgical oncology and breast section of the Spectrum Health Medical Group. I'm also the clinical advisor for surgical oncology. Some of the things that we do are cytoreductive surgery patients with disseminated colon cancer throughout the abdominal cavity that really there traditionally is not much to do. Um, we would do cytoreductive surgery, debulking, get, getting down all the tumor as possible, and then um, infusing some heated chemotherapy in their abdominal cavity. And that's been shown to actually have some promising results. Um, we're one of about 20 centers in the um, United States that do that. The other thing that uh, offered at our center and um, not too many other centers, about 17 centers across the nation is a nano knife uh, ablation. That's um, when we can remove surgically remove a cancer uh, because it's a location or size or we can't treat it any other ways. Uh, nano knife ablation is a new technique in which we can actually destroy those tumors while protecting other structures that needs to be saved. We have multiple um, multidisciplinary tumor boards. So surgeons, medical oncologists, the radiation oncologists, GI doctors, um, genetic counselors, uh, all of them attend this and we talk about patients and see if we can come up with an individualized approach to them. Because sometimes you think you're recommending the right thing, but with all those heads in one room, uh, you might come up with a different approach that might be ideal for a patient. So traditionally, the way the cancer patient would be taken care of is they would go see a surgical oncologist or a surgeon about a cancer, and then have to make another appointment to see a medical oncologist, and yet a third appointment to see a radiation oncologist perhaps, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So not only is it time intensive, uh, it's resource intensive, and it just takes too long. Whereas tumor board um, would allow that patient to be discussed at one setting with all the specialties, involved so that we would have a recommendation at the end of that tumor board. Uh, so it really streamlines it and decreases the time for the patient to get the right care.